What they did last night, they can do against anybody, anytime they want to, number one. Number two, it's not just a handshake after the game. It's the deferential treatment Kevin Durant provided. Kyrie took 23 shots. Kevin Durant took 13. Didn't seem to mind at all. James Harden is shooting considerably less than he was shooting in Houston. Didn't seem to mind at all. Doesn't seem to mind at all. The level of unselfishness, faith, and togetherness those three are showing with one another is something that I think we we can't ignore because I'm looking at Kyrie and I'm looking at James Harden. I'm saying, excuse me, you got to know to get the ball to KD when all is said and done because this brother is just on that level. But the flip side is if he doesn't mind and they don't mind, all three of them don't care about who's getting off. And that selflessness is something that we continue to see as the season progresses. Then the leadership that we're expecting from a Kevin Durant is something that he will be providing and as a result that is what's Another going thing. to make them even more potent as far as I'm concerned which is why I have no question that they're coming out of the Eastern Conference. All right let me give you numbers everybody. Kyrie had 39 points 15 for 23 from the field but get this six for eight from three-point land. Durant from the field was 11 for 13 with nine rebounds 28 points and Harden his fourth triple-double since joining the Nets, 23, 11, and 14. And there is a total level of unselfishness amongst the three of them. I think that this year, all ego, all bravado, all alpha maleness is going to be put on the side for the one purpose of winning a championship. Harden's never had a championship. Durant, you could say that this is his first team. Because you can't say the Warriors were his team. He was probably the best player on it, but it, it's it's Curry's team. I think they're going to put everything to the side, everything that could possibly derail them. They'll be unselfish. They'll share the basketball, and they are that good. Now, years two and three, I'm not sure. Once you get the ring, once you get success, then people are going to want to, you know, take over. May, I, I, but we can't worry about years two and three. Worry about right now, Harden fits, Kyrie Irving works with him, Durant uh, has seemingly has no ego. They are fun to watch. Sometimes I watch basketball, guys, I don't know if you're like this, because I know I have to watch it, because I know we're going to talk about it, and I know our fans love basketball, and I'm locked in. But yesterday, it was a joy to watch that game in the fourth quarter. It was that much fun watching a great, two great basketball teams Go at it. The Clippers have so many weapons. The Nets have so many weapons. Yeah, there are failings on the Nets. Not a great rebounding team. Not yet a, a real good defensive team. I think they'll tighten that up. But as I said, you're not going to win Game 7 of the NBA Finals 140 to 137. But they could put up points on anybody, guys. They could put up points on any great defense because there's not enough great defenders to cover three alpha scorers.